You may see more state troopers on Minnesota highways today. The state patrol and local law enforcement are holding saturation patrols to remind drivers of the Ted Foss move over law. Trooper Foss of Winona was killed by a passing semi 14 years ago today while making a traffic stop. The legislature passed the move over law in his honor. It says if there are two or more lanes, motorists must move over one lane when they see a stopped emergency vehicle with flashing lights. If they can't safely move over, they must slow down or they could be fined more than one fat one hundred dollars. Well, the Coast Guard is looking in looking for a small plane that took off from Wisconsin and crashed into the Atlantic Ocean. The plane left the Waukesha Airport in Milwaukee yesterday afternoon. It failed to land at a Virginia airport as scheduled and crossed into restricted airspace near Washington, D.C. Two F-16 airmen confirmed the pilot was unconscious in the cockpit. They escorted the plane until it eventually ran out of fuel and crashed in the ocean. The Coast Guard is trying to recover the plane and its pilot. A 25-year-old Wright County man has been missing for more than a week. Christopher Michael Rossing has not been seen since Friday, August 22nd. Deputies think Rossing left work in Maple Plain that evening and was planning to meet friends in the Norwood Young America area, but never showed up. Authorities say Rossing may have been in the Howard Lake area sometime on that Friday night. If you know anything about where Rossing might be, please call the Wright County Sheriff's Department. Well, the embattled Twin Cities Archdiocese has appointed a former top cop to investigate allegations of clergy abuse. Tim O'Malley is not only the former superintendent of the BCA, he is also a judge and a former FBI agent. O'Malley and Archbishop John Ninesett spoke with me last week. They say O'Malley will have the authority to investigate all misconduct claims. I would not have taken this job if I didn't have the confidence that the Catholic Church had people who were talented in the positions they need to be in. Judge Tim O'Malley says while he is deeply troubled by the church's history of handling abuse claims, he is confident he will have the full authority to investigate. I go into this with my eyes wide open. I expect that uh, that the the archdiocese is positioned now and the archbishop is is open to uh, making real progress. Archbishop John Ninesett said O'Malley will have the power to investigate all alleged misconduct. He's a man of integrity, a man of great experience, and he'll have direct access to me. The Archdiocese press release quotes from prominent admirers of O'Malley's, including Patty Wetterling, whose son Jacob was kidnapped and disappeared in 1989. Wetterling says O'Malley, quote, has proven his commitment to building a world without sexual violence. University of St. Thomas professor Charles Reed, who has been highly critical of the Archdiocese's handling of abuse cases, says this could be a turning point. The Archdiocese needs someone with uh, Tim O'Malley's background. He has dealt with victims of abuse. He is, comes endorsed by Patty Wetterling. Now, while the Archdiocese is clearly hoping that O'Malley's appointment will help set a new direction, there are so many issues remaining. Among the most prominent are allegations that Archbishop Ninesett himself acted in a sexually inappropriate way with adult seminarians. The Archbishop has previously denied those allegations and would only answer, though, in those interviews, questions about O'Malley's appointment. Well, the first family went to a wedding last night. President and Mrs. Obama and their two daughters, Sasha and Malia, flew to White Plains, New York, for the wedding of White House chef Sam Cass and MSNBC host Alex Wagner. Cass also serves as senior nutrition policy advisor and executive director of the First Lady's Anti-Childhood Obesity Initiative. And he often golfs with the president as well. The Obamas spent about six hours at the wedding going to the ceremony and the reception. And President Obama will be in Wisconsin tomorrow. He's going to be at a Labor Day event in Milwaukee. Republican Governor Scott Walker pushed for the 2011 law that effectively ended collective bargaining for most public workers in Wisconsin. At a Green Bay Packers game last week, Governor Walker said he plans to greet President Obama on the airport tarmac. When he comes, I don't typically get into the politics of things. We always appreciate when the president's in, no matter which party, he's the president of the United States. Governor Walker is up for re-election this year against Democrat Mary Burke. Polls show that race is deadlocked. Burke is planning to meet with the president privately tomorrow.